Hi, today I'm reviewing the Pharmacy Beauty green screen with SPF 30. And really quick, I just want to say purchase these products with my own money so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. So this is a sunscreen from the Pharmacy Beauty brand. And uh, if you know much about them, they use uh, Echinacea Green Envy in most of their products. And they've got a smaller line at Sephora, but a pretty well thought out line. And they've kind of got a product that fits every niche. They've got an oil cleanser, a balm cleanser. Uh, they've got a moisturizer, a honey mask, um, a sleeping balm. Uh, they've got a face spray and oil. So they've got like one good product, solid product for kind of everything you might need. And uh, they came out with the green screen about a year ago. And uh, I picked it up and purchased it. And I've been using it uh, when I like to use it ever since. So I'm going to kind of let you guys know my thoughts of it. Um, and this is a mineral or a physical sunscreen. So it uses zinc oxide and titanium dioxide as opposed to some of the chemical sunscreens, which can be uh, good in their place. But sometimes if you have very sensitive skin, you're better off going with a mineral or a physical sunscreen. And the other thing I want to mention, this one is not water resistant. So if you're going to be out swimming or even sweating a lot, you're going to want to go with something that's uh, waterproof or what more water resistant. So um, just wanted to mention that, and I'm going to kind of let you guys know my thoughts on it. So on the Sarah scale, my first criteria is packaging, and they've done a nice job with the packaging. They package this in a nice opaque tube. Uh, they've kind of got their signature uh, wooden handles that they've got on everything. Um, but they've done a nice job packaging this um, because it does have a fair amount of antioxidants in here. And uh, they've packaged it to protect those from exposure to light and air. So they've done a pretty good job on that. Um, so, and I also like the squeeze tube, especially for sunscreens, because it's easier to take with you, throw in your purse. If you're going on a boat, throw it in your bag. So I like that. So they've done a good job with that. My second criteria is alcohol, and this does not contain any denatured alcohol. My third criteria is fragrance, and uh, this does not have any uh, added fragrance. So uh, it really has no scent at all. So that's always a good thing, especially when with SPF products, assuming people are going to be outside and using it so that's a good thing my fourth criteria is manufacturing location this is made in the u.s so there's no issues there uh, my fifth criteria is ease of use and this applies quite easily it's easy to smooth over your face um, as you can see um, it smooths quite easily it gets absorbed quite easily and it's got some good hydrators in there so it doesn't leave your skin looking dry or flaky um, this has a little bit of a white cast, not as much as a lot of other ones do, uh, but it doesn't have any tint as you notice. So if you use this and you're not necessarily going to be outside doing activities or things like that, you might want to add a little bit of foundation over it um, just to kind of downplay a little bit of that uh, white cast. It's not as bad as a lot of other ones have, um, so it's always a good thing, but it is quite easy to use and smooths quite easily and it doesn't make your face feel greasy or anything like a lot of other sunscreens can so it's very easy to use there's no excuse not to use it under your makeup or foundation or anything like that my sixth criteria is antioxidants and uh, this has quite a bit of them so let me um, let you guys know what those are um, echinacea they've got that I think in all of their products which is an antioxidant uh, this one also has black chokeberry which is uh, Antioxidants, a plant grown in the Midwest and East Coast of the U.S. Uh, Mulinix, Mulin extract. Uh, that one is in there. It's Some people think it's an antioxidant. Some research shows it has a lot of good antibacterial and skin softening products. And some people think it could be a possible irritant to people with very sensitive skin. So um, there's not really a ton of research on that. They probably would have been better off leaving that one out. Um, but anyway, so, and then it also has sunflower, safflower, and corn oil, and then uh, malic acid, which is an alpha hydroxy, anti, uh, alpha hydroxy acid, uh, an antioxidant, so um, kind of an interesting choice. And then, of course, they've got uh, the ethyl macadamite, macadamite, which is uh, used kind of as a replacement for silicone texture. Um, it's kind of an alcohol and uh, macadamia nut concoction, but it kind of acts kind of as a silicone without actually having the silicone in there um, 
pharmacy beauty relies a lot on plants and natural natural ingredients so um, it's no surprise they wouldn't want to use the silicone in their product so um, anyway so lots of good antioxidants uh, my number seven criteria is animal testing and uh, the pharmacy brand is cruelty free my number eight criteria is performance and this performs quite well i like the fact that it's an spf 30 which is about the standard level you don't want to go below 30. Um, Nothing wrong with going above and beyond 30, but 30 is about where you want to be. So it performs quite well in that regard, and uh, it stays on quite well, works well under makeup. Um, so it doesn't have any greasy texture to it, so you won't have a problem if you uh, put this on and then put your foundation on over it. You shouldn't have any issues with it slipping or anything like that. So uh, it performs quite well. I quite like it. And my number nine criteria is the price, and this is the full size, which is 1.6 ounces, and it sells for $36, so it's not super expensive. It's a little bit more pricey than a lot of the drugstore brands, uh, but in terms of Sephora, it's not ridiculously priced, um, and the fact that it's a solid, reliable sunscreen. But make sure uh, with any price that you spend on a sunscreen that you'll afford to be able to use it liberally. So if it's too expensive and you're only going to be using a little bit at a time, you don't want to do that. You'd rather spend uh, a little bit less and get a sunscreen that you're not going to be um, using little amounts to try and make it last as long as possible. You want to be able to use it very liberally. And then my number 10 criteria is the it factor. I didn't give it a thumb up for the it factor. Um, if it were probably a little bit higher than SPF 30, I'd probably give it the it factor, but it's a solid, reliable mineral sunscreen that works well under foundation or makeup and uh, has some good solid antioxidants in there. So um, nothing crazy or outstanding, but um, a solid choice and it's not ridiculously expensive. So um, overall on the Sarah score scale, this got nine out of 10, which is pretty good. So um, anyway, I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to try this one yet or not. And uh, if you tried it, what were your thoughts? Did you like it or uh, not like it so much or uh, love it or anyway? So uh, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come with at least a one new review every day. Check out my website, nobsbeauty.net. I'm adding uh, new review articles to it. And uh, check out the Amazon link below to help support the channel. Thank you so much, guys.